what is up beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and to episode 6 of Yaya's Eats. So today we are making vegetarian shepherd's pie. So much fun. So there I am just putting aluminum foil over that tray to put my meatless patties on to then put in the oven. So there they go into the oven and what I'm gonna do later on is I'm gonna chop them up whenever they're done and put that into the stew I'm gonna be making. So right now I'm just skinning my potatoes with a knife. Just doing my thing until yep that was just a tray that was expanding due to the heat no big deal so I took care of that and I'm back to peeling my potatoes also I was listening to Jesus and Jalof podcast as I was cooking so those were the voices you heard in the background And then it was time to rinse those potatoes thoroughly. And put them into my pot. Put some water in the pot there. And then add some salt onto it and then just let it boil for about 20-25 minutes and then whenever it is done I just drain it just by using my lid like I said I don't use a strainer <laughs> and then it was time to mash up the potatoes which I did starting with two potatoes and then I added on as I went along that way it is mashed properly and then it was time to add my butter while the potatoes were still hot so the butter will melt nicely And then some sour cream so just being very heavy-handed with my sour cream a because I wanted the mashed potatoes to be very fluffy and smooth and I was trying to finish my sour cream within a week and then I put in my spices so my old bay as you saw there my garlic salt and now my chili powder because I ran out of black pepper so now I'm just giving everything a nice mix and my patties that I put in earlier are ready and it was time to get going on the second half of this which was the veggie part of this vegetarian shepherd's pie so I started off with olive oil in the pan and then some onions to that olive oil which I let brown a little bit and then I put in my frozen mixed peas, green beans, carrots, corn. And then I put in my spices, Old Bay garlic salt, chili powder. And then my trusted Maggie cube, just one Maggie cube. And then I added just a little bit of water because I didn't want it to be watery and then let it simmer for at least 20-25 minutes. Also I added some tomato paste 
which is not in the video. And then once everything is done, I just poured it into my dish there and then proceeded to put my mashed potatoes over the top of it and then just flattening everything out nicely there. This is so satisfying to watch as I'm recording this voiceover. And then I put my cheese on top, my shredded cheese. And that's what it looks like before it went in the oven. <laughs> that's quite a lot of food, so I'm going to be eating that for at least 3-4 days. And that's what it looks like when I take it out of the oven about 25 to 30 minutes later. This was a labor of love. I didn't realize how long it was going to take to make this dish. To begin with, I started a little late in the day, about 7 p.m., and I did not finish till around 10.30, I kid you not. And I like to cook, but any recipe that's going to require me to be in the kitchen longer than two hours or two and a half hours, and that's prep time and cleanup afterwards, I don't want. I don't want it. <laughs> Anything that's more than two hours. So yeah, I will know for the next time just to get quick little instant mashed potatoes and call it a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye!